in this video we will be discussing about the sixth question from the mechanical engineering second set uh, from gate 2020 question paper the question is a circular radius of r is confined to roll without slipping at p and q as shown in the figure if the plates have velocities as shown the magnitude of the angular velocity of the disk is option sir v by r v by 2r 2v by 3r 3v by 2r the diagram is given in the right side you can also refer to the nptel course engineering mechanics statics and dynamics by professor anubhad roy from iit madras before moving to the solution part we have to know about basic concepts so the useful data sir now if a body is undergoing a pure roll without slipping then the velocity at any point on the body is the product of angular velocity with which the body rotates and the distance to the point from its instantaneous center of rotation which is v equals to r omega instantaneous center of rotation is the point where the velocity is zero the direction of velocity is perpendicular to the distance drawn from the instantaneous center in the direction of angular velocity we will be discussing about all these points when we are discussing at the solution so now let's move to the video solution so now let us move to the video part video solution so we are having a circular disk which is confined to move only in this two plates which is having velocity 2v in this direction v in this direction and this point is p and this disk is moving without slipping so now let us assume that the angular velocity is in this direction omega that is in the clockwise direction and this body has a linear translation linear translational velocity v not so when a body is rotating with angular velocity omega then at this point uh, at if this is moving at an angular velocity omega then at q it will have r omega in this direction where r is the radius and at p this will have a velocity in this direction that is also in r omega and there will be linear translation at all this point p center q that will be in this direction v not and this direction v not therefore the total velocity at p therefore total velocity at p is v not plus r omega because both of them are in the same direction and the total velocity at p is given as minus v because v is in the towards the left which is in the negative uh, the negative direction because we assumed that the positive uh, it is positive in this direction next at q what about at q at q the total velocity is v not and r omega is in the negative direction so v not minus r omega equals to the velocity at q which is given as 2v as we can see from here so let us name this equation as 1 and 2 now we add 1 and 2 1 plus 2 which we get as 2v naught it goes 0 r omega and minus r omega goes to 0 and the left part is 2v minus v that will be v therefore v naught is equals to v by 2 now substitute this equation in equation 1 let this let this be 3 so 3 in 1 we get v 
e by 2 plus r omega equal to minus v. Therefore, r omega equal to minus v minus v by 2, which is nothing but minus 3v by 2. Therefore, omega is minus 3v by 2r. We assume that the angular velocity is in the clockwise direction, which is positive. Therefore, we got minus, which means that it is moving in the anti-clockwise direction. So, the angular velocity of this disk is, magnitude of angular velocity is 3v by 2r and is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. In this question, we didn't assume any instantaneous center. We didn't bring the concept of instantaneous center of rotation because we are dealing with the basic formula that if the velocity, if there, if there is an omega to a circular disk, then there will be r omega appropriately like in the tangential direction and if we are sub, and if and then we are substituting in these formulas and we are getting the omega. Now there is an another way this problem can be solved. That is using the concept of instantaneous center of rotation. As we have discussed from the previous day, that instantaneous center of at, at instantaneous center of rotation, the velocity will be zero. Now, let us solve this equation by using instantaneous center of rotation. So, the, the question is given as this is a circular disk and it is having velocity 2v in this direction and v in this direction. If this if the instantaneous center of rotation was at the center, the velocity will be in this direction and in this direction will be same, will be same but opposite. But here it is different. That is v in this direction and 2v in this direction, which means that the instantaneous center of rotation is not at the center but at some other point. And Incidental center of rotation lies perpendicular to the velocity that is at P, if this is P and Q, right? So if you draw a perpendicular line to the P, it will be in this direction and if you draw a perpendicular line to the Q, which will be lying in this direction. So we can say that incidental center of rotation is lying between a line passing through the center and perpendicular to the velocity. So, we'll, uh, so let us assume the instantaneous center of rotation is at this point. I see. So let us form it again. So this is point P. This is Q, and this is the center of the disk and the center of rotation. I, I instantaneous center of rotation. Let this be O. Now let us draw the magnitude of velocity at P. If this is V, then velocity at Q will be double the length, that is 2V. If we join this V and 2V, it will pass through center O. Now, the OP is the distance from O to P and OQ is the distance from O to Q. Now, if omega is the angular velocity, then v is equal to op into omega. 2v will be oq into omega. So we have this equation number 4, equation number 5. Dividing 4 and 5, we get 1 by 2 is equal to op by o. Or else we can say that the point O, the point O divides the line segment PQ in the ratio 1 is to 2. That is, if this is 1, this will be 2. So let OP be let OP be K, then OQ will be 2K. Then OP plus OQ equals to 3K, which should be 2R because that is a diameter. Therefore, k equals to 2r by 3. Now substituting k 2r by 3 in equation number 4 and 5, we will get omega, that is v equals to uh, op 
OB is nothing but K which is 2R by 3 into omega. So omega equal to 3V by 2R. That is a magnitude of the angular velocity. And if you substitute uh, the value of K in equation number 5, we get 2V is equal to OQ which is nothing but 2K into omega where 2K is uh, 4R by 3 into omega and 2, 2 cancel and we get V equal to 2R by 3 which is nothing but we got similarly we got from the above equation which implies that V is equal to 3V by 2R. Therefore, the answer to this question is omega is 3V by 2R. You can use either of this method. Uh, whichever is easy for you, you can take because the gate examination, the time is the most important thing. So you have to solve this equation question in a very short time. Therefore, answer to this question, a circular disk of radius R is confined to a node without slipping at P and Q as shown in the figure. The solution is option D, 3V by 2R. For more concepts and information regarding this topic, you can also refer to the NPTEL course Engineering Mechanics, Statics and Dynamics by Professor Anubhadroy, IIT Madras. Thank you.